Hello, welcome to episode okay, so two. Here's our blanket. And Excellent. Asymmetrical turn. Dropping and sinking up. Notice how the. So just notice. Joining us for the second episode of Explain Namaste. Hello, and welcome to our very first. Absolutely, they are. So, yeah, absolutely. So, when you when you cook that way, and uh, I guess I've actually uncook that way, and actually making raw foods, um, it establishes such a profound connection to Mother Earth. And um, so, my evolution has been, uh, you know, from eating meat, you know, and going through that, you know, evolution of, of foods that weren't really good for me, um, and good for the planet, or good for the animals either. But moving onward to doing raw foods and um, just the level of uh, energy, spirituality, emotional, it's been fabulous. So I'm really excited. I've been sharing an awful lot with Melissa. So today we're thinking about making some hemp milk. Um, you know, when Kelly said that, I said, is this really going to make hemp milk? Is it going yeah. to taste good? Awesome. <laughs> we're going to melt these little hemp seeds. <laughs> yeah. So. Well, hemp is um, one of these extraordinary, uh, I guess, a seed on this planet. It's actually one of the only seeds that contains chlorophyll in it still. So it's really living. Um, inside each hemp seed is a little, little sprout uh, just waiting to burst and uh, open and grow into a, a hemp, hemp bush or a hemp tree. And um, so you get to drink this stuff, which is really awesome. So we're going to make some hemp seed uh, milk today. But what I'm also going to put into it is uh, some maca. And I put maca in it, and I try to take in about two tablespoons a day uh, myself. Um, and what that really does for you is balances a lot of hormonal um, issues and your hormones really regulate so much of your body. Uh, helps with all sorts of things and your autoimmune system too. So um, we're going to be uh, using this as well. Um, is <laughs> it does. It's almost like a, like a binding aspect of it. So that works the same way lecithin would, as do hemp seeds, the same way lecithin works. And it also the two of them, too, are brain building. So Melissa's totally right in it being like that creaminess. So it's really awesome. And it gets that milky, creamy texture. Great. Yeah. Okay, so, so the way we start is with, uh, we're going to put in a cup of, of hemp seeds. And we're going to be using the blender. What I use is a Vitamix blender. Um, Vitamix is sort of, sort of one of the, you know, high-powered, uh, best one out there. It goes at like 240 miles an hour. So it, it really pulverizes the hemp seeds. I'm just going to get some of our uh, water. No, no, actually, yeah, one cup of hemp seeds, but we're doing four cups of water. And just mind me while I get our purified water going on here. Something else we could talk about? Well, the Celtic sea salt is important because um, what that does is it helps with the regulating of our bodies again. It works, I mean, I guess hormonally. So much of our body, 95% of our body is made up of sea water, right? Salt water. So. Um, it works in that aspect of it. We lose an awful lot of iodine. So I just put in a little bit of it. Yeah. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So as far as the maca goes, we're gonna put in a little bit of it. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. So as as goes, what I'm going to put in, and this actually comes from Sun Food Nutrition. This is uh, David Wolf's brand. Uh, and this is maca extreme. And uh, I'm going to use two tablespoons of it. 
kind of heaping tablespoons, it's going to be too exact. And as far as I'm going to put in our vanilla, we're going to use a tablespoon of, uh, of vanilla. Again, you don't have to be completely exact and accurate with it. And then we're going to blend now for... Absolutely. Mm, not really. But it's not, it's not going to... You know how sometimes the ingredients cause like a, they're actually remove nutrition from your body? Right. It's not like that. Not at all. No, not at all. No. And this is natural. This is fair trade and it's organic. Straight from the vanilla beans. <laughs> you can smell it. And one thing that I hear with the rugby people talk about a lot is you don't want to leave your body on too long. It's actually really Absolutely. When you take uh, any sort of raw product over 115 degrees Fahrenheit, um, then the enzymes start being killed off. So it's really, really critical to, for when you're doing raw food cooking to keep everything underneath 115 or 117 degrees Fahrenheit. And when we talk about raw food enzymes too, does it matter like we need to drink this within a certain amount of time because they're going to... Um, you know, in yeah. yoga we talk about prana and life force a lot, right. and, and a lot of um, yogis don't like to eat leftovers because there's Correct. no life force left in it. So how right. long, how soon do we need to eat this? This is good for three days. Three days. Anything longer than that? Kind of Absolutely. Kind of Yep, absolutely. So, so, yeah, so what I do now is I drain it. We have to actually strain it, really. Um, and this is a nut milk bag that you can actually buy online. Um, I buy mine online. Um, and it strains because it's going to strain the hemp, the hulled hemp shells that are, are now small and pulverized, but it's going to leave us with just a beautiful milk product at the end. So, and I use a big bowl to put it into. So, we pour it all in. And this is the fun part. You got to make sure your hands are clean. <laughs> and um, as you can see, the melt comes out of the bag, which is so very, very cool. And I don't know unless I can tip the bowl, you can actually see how white it is too coming out. So what I do is I give it a little bit of help. I squeeze down on it. Um, and I know it looks pretty weird, but it's almost like, I guess, milking a cow in a way, which is <laughs> Yes, very <laughs> ironic. But this gives you so much in protein. Um, and. Uh, Hemp is known too for its essential fatty acids. Hemp has actually omega-3s and omega-6s, and actually 9s as well, but as far as omega-3s and omega-6s go, <laughs> I got you. It's, um, it's, a, per it's a perfect uh, proportions they've got between omega-3s and omega-6s, which is brain building, uh, your autoimmune system, uh, you name it. And uh, I don't want to do this too long because we don't want to make this show too long. <laughs> And you could save this after to make your wraps and your Absolutely. crackers and stuff. Like Absolutely. Yeah, the pulp is left over yeah. afterwards. So I could just end this now. I'm going to take this over to the sink and then we'll, yep. All right, so we just moved the hemp milk over to the pitcher so it's going to be easier for us to pour. And you can see we're still getting more hemp milk out of this here. The nut bag, yeah. Out of the nut bag. So tell me, you know, I make almond milk at home all the time, but why would I want to make hemp milk over almond milk? Well, hemp milk is uh, a little bit lighter in calories and um, a, a, a more complete fatty acids. The essential fatty acids are much more complete in hemp. Uh, also, the protein is a better source of protein. There's 18 complete amino acids in, in hemp. Um, and much, much easier to be di digested. Not saying that almond milk's bad or anything, and almond milk is awesome to alkalize your body and uh, reduce acidity, etc. But just to change it up a bit, uh, hemp really gives you an awesome boost of protein. Um, like I said before, the omega 3s and omega 6s are a fabulous, fabulous dose of that. And you get omega 9s too, which is very unusual because it's very hard to get omega 9s from, uh, from the plant world. So, so do we get to try this? We do. <laughs> we do. We're all excited. Okay. I was saying before, only at Kelly's house would we have hemp milk and martini glasses. <laughs> Martinis. So do you drink it on, your, on its own or do you mix it and make other uh, flavors with it? Oh, you can put strawberries in here. Mm. You can put cacao in here. So it's just Ooh. like straight up chocolate hemp. Yes. Uh, yeah. You, mango, peaches, you name it. It's fabulous. It's got a really sort of um, grainy smell to it. It does, mm -hmm. but it's creamy mm -hmm. and it's the maca. That's good. Cool. That's great. Well, cheers. Thank cheers. you for teaching us how to make hemp milk. Thank you. <laughs> See you soon.